Hi, today I want to talk to you about why you're not sleeping. I hear from women all the time. In fact, when I lecture, I always say, how many in this room sleep five hours or less? Tragically, pretty much 90, 95% of all the women raise their hands. Sleeping is a game changer. When you were a kid, did you ever get, go to bed and go, oh, I hope I go to sleep? When you put your children or grandchildren to bed at night, do you ever say, oh, I hope they sleep? Of course they're going to sleep. They're pouring melatonin. A lot of things happen as we get older. We stop pouring melatonin, which is a master antioxidant uh, also, which I'll explain in another uh, one of my vlogs. But um, the, the other thing that happens, that, and the reason you're not sleeping is hormone imbalance. How would that affect you? Well. Um, hormones all have to be in balance. It's a symphony, right? And so when your estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, you know, others, pregnant, pregnant alone, thyroid, when all those things are off, um, the body's not working right. When the body's not working right, the brain senses stress. When the brain senses stress, it releases cortisol. Now, cortisol is your stress hormone, and that's reserved for, let's go back to paleo times, when human beings were being chased by saber-toothed tigers. You needed an extra burst of, of strength to uh, outrun that tiger. But unfortunately, with all the stress and um, the lack of understanding about hormone replacement, uh, people's cortisol is raised all day long, and for most people, it's raised into the night. If your cortisol is high at night, it's impossible to sleep. That's your stress hormone. That's that's what's going to let you, you know, lift that car off a, a child, or or um, you know, uh, get out from from under a, a burning bus, or whatever whatever some big catastrophe could possibly be. So, you have to get your cortisol down. How do you do that? Now, this is very strange. In order to get your cortisol down, you have to take cortisol replacement. And you go, well, what is? I'm making too much cortisol. I'm going to take more. You have to keep your cortisol high during the day so it will go down low at night. Hydrocortisone is a bioidentical cortisol replacement. The way it's mostly dosed, and you have to go to a qualified doctor who understands this. Your regular doctor is not even going to know what hydrocortisone is, which is really tragic because it's so important. It's usually the regulator. Um, a qualified doctor you can find at foreverhealth.com. That's a free service that uh, will help you find a qualified doctor nearest you. They will give you hydrocortisone in five milligram capsules and you take four a day spaced out through the day. One immediately upon waking, usually around 6 a.m., one midday, one mid-afternoon, and one at dusk. That's how cortisol pours naturally in our bodies. Now, when you take cortisol replacement, won't take long before you start feeling more relaxed when you go to bed at night. Um, that racing of your heart that you've been feeling will most likely subside. The lists in your head that you can't turn off will most likely subside. But I'm going to tell you in a minute about some other supplements that will help with those issues. Here's why it really, really matters. Why it really matters. What kills women? Heart disease, heart attack, stroke. Um, heart disease is the number one killer of women. Chronic high cortisol leads to heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. See how important it is? So maybe all along what we women are really dying of is not uh, heart disease, but of hormone imbalance. That's how important it is. So hydrocortisone replacement from a qualified doctor is going to go a long way to normalizing your cortisol, managing your stress as best you can. Try to do yoga. Yoga, I'll, I'm going to do yoga till I die. Yoga is so meditative, one hour, three times a week. You can't imagine the benefits. When you have those lists that you can't turn off at night, get a supplement. I get a chewable supplement in this form because I like the way it tastes. Uh, it's called GABA, G-A-B-A. -A. GABA turns off the list. GABA is a substance made in the brain that when your cortisol is high, you're not making it. And then if it's still not working, then you've got to check your thyroid. If that racing heart has not calmed down, you probably have a thyroid issue too. Check out all these things. Go to your doctor. Make a list of what I've just said. Go to your doctor. Talk to your doctor about each of these things. And, um, 
and you be in charge at the doctor's office. Don't just sit there and go, I can't sleep. What am I supposed to do? You tell your doctor what you think you're supposed to do. You'll get a lot more respect and you'll get a lot um, better and quicker action. I hope this helps. This is what I do. I take cortisol replacement every day. I have for years. My thyroid is right. I take GABA at night. I take melatonin at night. And I sleep eight hours every single night without drugs. It's pretty great.